What's up, everybody? To this week's episode of Everybody Eats, my name is Briss. I'm Cheese. And this week we have our very special guest, Bobby Couch. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Right. Cozy, I'm, I'm good here. Yeah? Not on a couch, but close. <laughs> close. <laughs> no, no, we appreciate you being here. For right. sure. Sure, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so Bobby Couch is a fashion visionary, uh, as well as the owner of Fashionist Columbus. His brand. You're a fashion visionary or a creative visionary? I think creative visionary. That's creative right. visionary. Similar, my bad. Similar concept. Yeah, creative fashion, visionary. Fashion, creativity, it's all yeah. fused gotcha, together. Gotcha, gotcha. Follow Okay, okay. <laughs> so, what, I mean, what exactly, I know you're like a multifaceted you know, individual when it comes to the just creativity in general. So, what all do you do around City of Columbus? So, I kind of look at myself as kind of like this driving force that's like behind the scenes of some of your favorite brands, favorite brand. Um, so I'm in charge of a lot of the creative um, aspects of Starstruck Apparel. So I help out with um, floor sets as well as creative consulting sessions with about six to 10 local brands um, here. And I help do photo shoots, ad campaigns for them, um, as well as recently the Black Fashion Expo where we had over 30 vendors uh, participate in this larger scale event, um, kind of really celebrating African-American culture specifically within fashion. I'm here locally in Columbus, but yeah, that's pretty much the day-to-day fashionist Columbus specific thing that I do. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so yeah, I was actually going to ask about that. So with your Black Fashion Expo just having been, you know, uh, executed recently, mm-hmm. um, I mean, like, how did they, how did it go? Like, did it fulfill your expectations? Um, just, just talk about the event just in general. Yeah, it's actually funny. It actually is superseded a lot of my expectations and, and the people around me. I've, I've never really anticipated it to be such a big deal for the culture of Columbus from the Good Day Columbus interviews to, you know, Fly Paper Magazine supporting it and kind of endorsing it and things like that where it's like they do support a lot of things locally for the culture but with it being something that for me was such a simple and small ideal where it's like we're already doing a lot of pop-ups together. Why don't we just kind of make it a more public thing where I can allow other brands that I've maybe never met before or never worked with mm-hmm. to kind of be a part of this experience that we already have kind of influenced in Columbus culture as far as, you know, doing a lot of um, joint pop-up tours where it's kind of like not specific to just one brand or one business and like really adding value to this whole everybody eats, we all win type of campaign um, mm-hmm. and making sure that everybody can kind of break bed- bread together but also kind of cross market and network with businesses as well. So. Um, yeah, superseded my expectations for sure. It's <laughs> nice. beautiful. Yeah. Um, so with your brand, uh, Fashionist Columbus, uh, I guess what would be, what would you say is the, like the mission, like what are the values, what, what goals do you have in mind for that brand? So Fashionist Columbus is a creative consulting firm that specializes in the advancement of local and smaller businesses. So understanding that, um, just because you're just a t-shirt shop, what elevates you to be larger than life? So it's the ad campaigns, it's the commercials, it's the videos, it's the way that you drop an editorial, it's the way in which you engage with your consumer and your customer online through social media. Um, So there's just kind of showcasing this marriage between marketing and visual communications to the retail store operations and kind of fusing those two materials together um, through things like pop-up events and expos and other curated um, experiences, I guess. That's pretty much what we do, like overall. If you, I mean, I know there's so many different areas in creativity, mm-hmm. um, but if you had one just dream job, what would you say yours would be? Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I think it goes without saying. I mean, hosting events like Brunch Beats and Beyonce in the past and. Things that are very specific, like even my birthday when Lemonade dropped, my, the name of my birthday party was Lemonade. So it's one of those things where it's like curating something so large, like who is the creative director of Coachella? Who creates these larger than life productions um, for these A-list celebrities and A-list stars? It's me and a creative team of other people. So um, that's kind of like my dream bread and butter passion job, if you will. So maybe like residency shows in Vegas or working with Prime Social Group or some some smaller um, venue to kind of build up to that portion of my re- resume, but that's definitely along the lines of like dream, dream job. So why not start okay. on the local Columbus level and doing it just with fashion brands? So okay. Yeah. That's the lateral growth. Gotcha. Yeah, you gotta start somewhere for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess one last question I could ask would be, um, 
when did you know, uh, or I guess how far can, how far back can you think in your life that you know, like, okay, creativity is my fully blown passion? Honestly, it's just kind of been like a God-given talent in my in my personal opinion, just because I'm an only child, so understanding that there's no niece, nephew, little brother, little sister, older brother, older sister to network with or connect with even um, in your household as you're growing up, you kind of have to create these imaginary situations and these imaginary themes in your mind. Um, and you kind of do it unselfconsciously knowing um, you're kind of creating these scenarios for yourself and then now you're able to apply it in a business setting where it's like, not like, oh, you're going crazy and you're talking to the wall. And we have like this <laughs> right. pet. It's right. like, no, this is a real life thing that I envision in my head that I can execute and I have to make it make sense. And to some people in the world, they're so um, cut off by, well, the can'ts and we can't do this. And I'm more focused on like the how. So like really understanding like, yes is really the answer, but what's the question for real? So um, kind of cross marketing and figuring out exactly how to, the how versus the nah. Type of right. Gotcha. Yes, okay. That's what's up. Well, well, thank you very thank much. You. Much. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate it. <laughs> um, Job interview over. <laughs> Job interview. <Yeah. laughs> no, but um, yeah, so this week we all went to Press Grill. It is a sports bar um, located in the short north area of Columbus. Uh, or what I call a sports bar? Yeah, well, I, don't, I have no idea. I never thought I would be sitting here talking about press. Like, I. I don't know. Yeah. Don't, I don't be pressed. <laughs> <laughs> don't be pressed. Um, it's like a beer diner. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's real chill. It's, it's like it's a short north. Like it's a bar. Yeah. Arts yeah. district. Casual. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very. Very casual. For sure. Um, so yeah. So with it being on the, in the short north, uh, parking is almost purely limited to meters. Um, maybe a parking garage. Uh, you just got to get in where you fit in, yeah. basically. Um, so when you pull up to the spot, uh, you'll notice that it's pretty small, um, kind of like sandwiched between most stores, as they are in the short north. You have a lot of different stores in that area. Um, and so I would say you walk in and you'll first notice the, uh, it's pretty much like just one like long hallway. Like a shotgun type. Yeah. A runway. It's a, a runway. Or that. That's pretty, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> no, <it's good. laughs> Um, so yeah, just have all your, your tables and chairs lined up like that, and there's no like different areas, different sections. It's, what you see is literally what's, what what's there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, they they do have a couple TVs in there for sure, um, and also you'll see their full bar that they have um, with all kinds of wines, beers, liquors, almost anything you could possibly think of um, to suit your alcoholic needs. Um, <laughs> so uh, we get seated. And <clears throat> we start with our appetizers. Um, the appetizer I got was the wings. I got the honey mustard wings, uh, just six of them with uh, a side of ranch. And um, it was pretty decent, I would say. Um, wings are solid. Yeah. Uh, oh, I will say, because typically we do start off with drinks, this is actually the first restaurant that we went to that offers alcoholic beverages and we, we did not get, get any. any. Uh, yeah. I just, I didn't really feel too compelled to just say they don't have their own like specialty like house made cocktails. So I was like, eh, like, I can I'm just, I'm just trying not to have to go to AA. Yeah. In the next couple years. So. I mean, AA is recorded. I was a little hungover. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Everybody had their reasons. St. Patrick's Day was a lot. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Shout out to that. Actually, shout out to this past weekend's festivities. We had uh, the Just Friends. Uh, last Friday, and then after that, immediately the next day was the Our Bar Crawl, uh, hosted by Marlon Anthony Events. So it was definitely just a big turn up this whole past weekend. And Mar uh, Monarch, Monarch on Sunday. Mon yeah, oh, Monarch on Sunday, yeah. HD, so, DJ Nasty. Exactly. Incredible. It's great. Um, I was at work. <laughs> <laughs> or that. Yeah. I was at work struggling on Monday. Same. So, I feel you. Yeah. Similar, oh, similar okay. situation. Exactly. So yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just back to back to back. Just not stop fun. But, but yeah, so yeah, we, we didn't get any cocktails this time for once. But yeah, with my appetizer, the wings that I had, um, they were decent for sure. I think they could have been, I don't really know how to, I guess kind of crispier a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, they kind of like felt uh, lackluster, soggy. 
don't want to say it. I was kind of thinking about Saga. I don't want to say Saga because that sounds uh, like. But I don't know. It just it lacked crispiness for like the the texture. Was it the rest? Yes. Even though I can't tell you here. For sure. But uh, but yeah, it was decent though. Um, for my appetizer, I had the onion rings. Mm -hmm. They were alright. Yeah. Pretty pretty standard onion rings. I I actually like them. Um, like they weren't like the best onion, onion rings in the world by any means, but um, they're solid. They were pretty solid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that word a lot. That's his favorite it's word. Be yeah. Ridiculous. Solid. Yeah. Solid. <laughs> Press grill is solid. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly how I would describe it. Uh, I had the loaded cottage fries. It's just like sliced potatoes, essentially like roasted. Uh, cheese, bacon, sour cream. It's like a loaded baked potato. Simple. It was fire. <laughs> no, it actually was. That's what we did. He's playing. It. He's playing it. It was fire. Like, it was great. That was probably the best part of the meal. I've been depressed so many times that yeah. like I don't. That's just usually what I get. Like I don't, I don't even stray too far away from the normal things I usually get, which they both order. So today I had to get something different. Yeah, I didn't say that was my favorite appetizer for sure out of the three that I tried. It's potato, cheese, and bacon. Like you I can't mean, go wrong. Loaded yeah. fries. <laughs> that's right. true. That's true. It, keeping it simple. It was, it was great though. Yeah. yeah. So those were our appetizers. Um, in regards to our, our entrees, I had the. What was it? The press grill with... You had the, with the whole press grill? <laughs> <laughs> the entire... Shit, now I'm drunk. <laughs> I had the press burger. There you go. Um, with bacon added onto it. Um, so your, with your press burger, that is just a um, single patty hamburger with lettuce, tomato, onions, egg, and I think some type of sauce. Uh, I don't think so. Is there no sauce in there? I don't know. I really, yeah. like, I don't, I really like the press burger though. Yeah. yeah. It's my favorite. Press burgers, it was pretty good. The only thing I didn't, I would say I didn't like about it was the com uh, composition of it. It kind of like started to break away as I was eating it. So I kind of had to like, you know, hold it together to like, you know, eat it and stuff. So it didn't like, it wasn't very durable uh, as a burger. But um, from, from a taste standpoint, it did taste good, so I definitely can't say any negative qualities about that. So. <laughs> pressed, it was it pressed, but, you, but it took a fold. It did, yeah. It took a um, well, I can't say that my, my meal took a fold. I got the shrimp po' boy. I was pretty impressed with it. Um, I had to add that, that buffalo sauce, though, and I did turn it up a notch. So yeah, every time. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad I got those recommendations. So okay. that was out of my normal jurisdiction of what I would normally order, but pretty solid. Okay. I've had the chicken pesto sandwich, which I had never had before. Um, it was, it's, so it's chicken, bacon, fontina, a walnut pesto, and mayonnaise, onion, lettuce, tomato. A lot of shit. Yeah, it's a lot going on. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh no, and also there was a portobello mushroom, mm -hmm. which, and it, it held together really well. It was on like, what kind of bread is this? Oh, okay. This is Italian roll. I thought it was like focaccia or something. Um, it was really good. I don't know how else to even, if the chicken was cooked well, the mushroom was good, the basil tastes great. I don't have any complaints about it really. Um, as far as you guys' food, which I didn't even taste from you, it's just I've had it so many times. Mm -hmm. I've never had that issue with the press burger. Really? Yeah, like I'll go there. Also, I will say, oftentimes, like I'll go there and get a press burger. Like I'm already like wasted. <laughs> so yeah. you feel me? Maybe I'm just sloppy. I don't, I don't know. I just don't notice that the burger is. But it usually goes crazy. The shrimp po' boy with the buffalo sauce. Nah, you really can't really go wrong with that. I don't think I've never had a bad experience with it. And apparently now the pesto chicken sandwich. I'm gonna have to add to the list. It was, it was gone. Yeah, I will say, I didn't get a chance to taste the uh, shrimp po' boy. Um, it's just hard to share like sandwiches and stuff for the most part. But um, I did get a, a small portion of yours and I will, I'll agree, like it was very good, honestly. Um, the flavors was just, it didn't seem too, like it, it was a lot of stuff going on, but it, it all fit just so perfectly mm -hmm. that it tasted great as a collective, so. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a solid meal. 
<laughs> Bobby Couch with the wind on that one. <laughs> It was comfortable. Yes, it was a very sure. cozy vibe. Oh, yeah, on the couch with Bobby Couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh Everybody eats. Yeah. That, that actually will work. That tagline will work. If it was that back at our old place, we were oh, on the couch. couch. Oh, yeah. yeah, but now we got chairs. That's so, that's right. Yes. You got couch on the chairs. Couch on couch the chairs. On the chair. Okay, but okay. Like, but yeah, so those are the entrees. Uh, service wise, I think she was pretty cool. She. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, were you unsatisfied? Next topic. <laughs> no, speak your mind. It's all about being real. It's cool. What, what, was, what was the negative qualities? It was okay. Mm -hmm. I expect more. I need extraordinary service. <laughs> all right. I don't believe. <laughs> no, it, she was cool. It was just one of us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but it's a nah, type place. Yeah. So, like, you can't. Expect too much. Or at least I didn't expect too much. Mm -hmm. Like I expect her, you know, pull up like, yo, I need some waters or some drinks or something. She was there for some of the water. Basically. She was there for some of the water. She did, yeah, yeah. She did a good job with that. So yeah, she did disappear kind of at one. Oh no, we did. We had to join her and then recommendary. Hmm? Oh, I just remember her saying like, oh, today's special is like I don't really recall oh, yeah, that. No, it was didn't. real like. I was, yeah, true. Y'all must come here like it, it was very assumative. I feel that. Cause she didn't do like, that. I don't even think she told us her name. I don't recall. That is not, not, not memorable. Yeah. <laughs> even at some of the quietest places, I remember the the bartender and the wait staff. Yeah. And she, she was not pressed to be impressed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. And then lastly, price. Uh, price is actually like. That shit is cheap. Cheap. Yeah. And that's good. Um, and it's not like cheap, like in quality. Yeah. It has good value for sure, but it's just like you will definitely you can get a good number of different items on this menu and still not even blow past like forty dollars yeah. probably. So, but yeah. Um, with all that being said, though, I would give Press Grill a like a three point two five out of four. Um, it. Overall, like to not, it's hard to not use the word, but it's a really just solid place. Like nothing is really, you know, uh, sensational about it in almost any aspect. But it, I couldn't think of anything that was necessarily bad, you know, about it either. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's like an above average spot for sure. Um, yeah, no complaints. They get three stars for me. Okay. Which I feel like is really good because my that's, no, that's, that's a really good score. Yeah, but three, <laughs> three, that's pretty good. Three out of four, solid, solid, yeah. solid score, solid. I love this place, and this may not reflect it, but I'm this is getting a two point five. Um, there's nothing spectacular about it. I, at the same time, though, like it's it's extremely consistent. Like every time I've ever gone, I will give it the a, same yeah. thing. Like yeah. it wasn't. I know exactly what I'm getting when I go there. I know exactly how it's gonna be. Like, I don't. Solid. Solid. Press <laughs> grill is yeah. solid. It's very consistent for sure. Yeah, I've never, I've never had any pre any issues with press grill, and I've been there. Um, not probably as many times as you have, but definitely multiple to say um, that they're very, very uh, reliable when it comes to just wanting a, a good sit down. You know, late night meal with your friends because they're open until 2 a.m. You know, so. Yeah. That is another thing that is a plus, which is probably why I've been so many times. Yes. Like, yeah. When you're working late in the short north, it's just sure, you that go nook like, to go to. So it's like, yeah, solid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's about to hit the wall. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we. So Bobby, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you appreciate joining it. us with you. Thanks for having me. Cool. Did you have any last thing, like remarks you want to make, or shout outs, or just any upcoming projects that you're working on, or anything at all? No new projects right now. I think, okay. I think we're just going to take a little hiatus. Okay. I'm slowly going to drift away. But this summer, I'm coming for you. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, no, I'm really, I'm really glad I was invited. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I look forward to seeing the expansion of all of this. We all win 
everybody eats mentality here in Columbus. So let's go. Okay. I, I like the ferocity. Right. Shit. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, we appreciate you as always. Make sure you tip your servers. Make sure you give great service. <laughs> if you're in the service industry, give great service. Yes, if you're in a great, yeah, exactly. But it's, yeah. So. Also, tip your server. Yeah. Don't be a dick. Exactly. If you give good service, give a tip. I mean, you tip. She got, she got a tip though, no cap. Like. Yeah, for sure. She got a tip. Even if they're bad, tip them anyway. Just tip them less, I guess. Tip them how to be better. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Cut it off. We'll see y'all next week. Cut it off. Until we meet again.